All right, so we just spent two days in Shoulders, Texas. We were shooting head-to-head -head our Helix 6 arc AR barrel against a, a proof barrel. What do you guys think about it? It's a little itty bitty thing. Theoretically, should not be able to do it in that gun. It'll work. It'll go. Let's keep it up right now. Then when we shoot, I'll just show you that shit in here right The biggest thing I noticed so far is one, how light it is, uh, how cool it stayed throughout consecutive rounds, and pretty much the Mirage. Like, there's only Mirage I've seen was from the actual suppressor. It was actually pretty good to see, right? Yeah. We're shooting. Like the last two days, I was shooting real quick, yeah. actually. <laughs> back to back to back. The heat dissipation was awesome. I believe that when I was shooting the, the Reaper with the Helix on it, I was able to do just as good or better with the Helix barrel. Groups were probably a little bit tighter even with the Helix barrel than with the, the proof. The Jigsaw and the Helix did just as good or better than the, the Cobalt, I think. As a matter of fact, most of us stopped shooting the Cobalt and just shot the, the Helix. With factory ammo, I mean, I don't think you can get any better than, than that barrel right there. And we were taking inexperienced shooters that uh, had never shot past 100 yards and was having second and third round impacts in a mile with that Jigsaw and the Helix barrel. Yeah, yeah, that's probably one of the best I've seen. Like, I shot a whole yeah, like, shot 10 round mag consecutively, too, as well. And normally, what, like, carbon fire barrels, you gotta do like every two to three minutes. You so, slow down. Yeah, you gotta slow down a pretty good amount. We didn't slow down, the barrel did perfectly. Kept a uh, good grouping throughout, all the way out to 804 yards. Yeah. So, that was pretty good to see. Yeah, and then uh, shooting that fast with the rounds that we're shooting in the environment and having a barrel that's keeping up with it, helping that out. Yeah. It's nice. For me, I noticed that it seemed like the grouping actually got tighter throughout. So, no really crazy deviations. Like, especially the closer targets, you can actually see where your rounds were impacting. And they were pretty consistently, like, yeah. especially at that three, at the three oh, yeah. end, like, consecutively low, like, at the bottom. And it was like a pretty good grouping. And I was hammer pairing that thing yesterday. Ting, 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 ting. Yeah, that barrel's awesome. Good job, guys. Great. Thanks.